basically in chain of thoughts we are letting the llm to think step by step in case of react we are also asking the llm to think and act step by step so let's understand this also so uh, according to the paper uh, in which react has been mentioned it says that it is better than chain of thoughts um, method so let's uh, deep dive into this method so basically it has majorly three parts one is reasoning reason the current state and what needs to be done action take an action depending upon the reason and observation results after taking an action so if you look into a sample react prompt how it would look like so this looks like something solve the given task by following thought action observation for each step so in ca uh, in case of chain of thoughts we were just thinking step by step now we would be acting also and observing what are the results after that action right thought can be reason about the current situation and next steps to follow observation is what results are achieved after taking action action can be of three types right action can be either you search the item in the internet of the knowledge base come up with a new follow up question on the keyword or finish the answer now giving the final answer a question how to prepare a team so in this case uh, what you are expected what the llm would expect to do is for every step of t like how to think or how to prepare t it will every time it will follow a three sub step journey first it will think what to do action it will take an action whether like uh, depending upon what to do it will choose an action to do as i have mentioned the three action you can go with anything right this is not a restricted prompt that you should follow only and then third would be observation what results it got after the action 